Hey, uh, I thought I'd do another short little video. I had a request from, uh, I think it was Pud1964, I think his name is. But, um, for her name, I had a request of, uh, doing, like, my equipment, lights, and, like, tank sizes, etc. Well, whatever. Um,. So, let's start here, I guess. Uh, these two, the lights on these two are the flu valve. You get them at any Peco or pet store. Um, I bought them quickly just for like smaller tanks and from like my baby frogs and my little froglets. And uh, they work great on growing plants and stuff. So, I like them. Um, I don't always keep 10 gallons for long, as you can see I already got rid of this one. Uh, my Ophaga Familia were in there temporarily, and uh, now they're in here. As you can see there's one. They're doing great. Uh, they did lay some eggs. There's the other one. Um, and I noticed two of them are missing. I don't know if you can kind of, the screen's going to mess it up. But they're on a leaf in the back. They, they laid them in this tank. I found them. I moved them in there. So I don't know if one of them ate the two eggs. But they already look like tadpoles. So I don't know if they grabbed them and moved them to one of the vermiliads. I noticed them back and forth between this vermiliad over there. Where he's peeking out of. I'm kind of scaring them. They're trying to eat. But, uh... <clears throat> um... Besides that. So, flu valve. Um, these are the... The... Evo, this ain't the quad, but it's an Evo, um, a green element from Top Dog Cellar. Uh, really nice. I got th three or four lights that burnt out. Um, I did mess around with changing them, but for some reason these lights weren't coming on. And then uh, there was a couple of dim ones in the back, and I accidentally knocked off a chip while I was doing it. And then I re put the chip back on there and put some new bulbs in certain spots. and the old ones lit up brighter so um, down I think it's a chip and it's not the actual light bulb so because I did change two of these and not come back on but that's what you get when you don't run a fan on them and you run them at max I think they kind of burn out this one I don't run on max all the time I just run it on two singles and then uh, every now and then I do turn it on max but I run the fans I have two of the fans this is the Evo Quad, so it's a lot bigger. You see it up here. Uh, top Dog Seller, um, eBay, so. Um, oh, here's my Lukes. You get to see that mount. There's Big Mama right there. She's out feasting. Yeah. Those are beautiful frogs. Um, so I got another flu valve over here, too. And then um, I got like this Aquarion one I just picked up at some pet store. I think it was a Pet Supply Plus or something like that. I can't remember. Um, that does pretty good. As you can see, it's grown these vermiliads great. And uh, I have no complaints with that light at all. And down here, just some grow lights I picked up at a grow shop. And I threw them in an old fluorescent uh, thing I had. So... I think that about covers the lights. Um, I do recommend the the Evos, the great lights, but they run pretty hot, so uh, I, I do recommend getting fans for them. Uh, you can order the fans and timers right with them, so I do recommend getting the fans. I do run this fan in here, just to kind of circulate the air in here. Um, what else? Uh, power strip in the back. Those are nice to have. I like to switch um, my other two power strips out for a nice long one. Um, also, Miss King, Miss King system goes all the way across these, and then I hand miss the rest. I do have this one rigged up to be hooked up to a Miss King eventually, but I haven't gotten to it yet. And I don't know that that tank holds a lot more humidity than any of the other ones. Have a pond feature right in the middle, so 
Uh, okay, so let's move on to tank sizes. Like I said, these are 10 gallons, and I don't recommend keeping like frogs in there full time. Uh, these are just younger frogs, or just temporarily they're gonna be in something like this. Uh, a 20 gallon, I do recommend maybe two. You can get away with three, depending on the species. I probably will keep my as my azurius in here. And uh, the uh, drawing a blank on their name now. <laughs> Citronella will end up coming out of there, and probably going back here. But uh, getting sidetracked in there with the frogs. So I got another 20 gallon too. I think this pair of uh, blue sips went up going in that right below there. And this tank here, which I've been doing, this is a new uh, tank. I kind of wanted to do something that was a little unnatural, change it up a little bit, do something different. And I did the hydro, hydro gloom or something like that in the background and then I did the, the river rocks and the I think they're ceramic tile so I did that and then uh, close drainage layer and stuff so I will be setting this up I got the lid right there it didn't when I got the tank from someone it didn't come with the lid so I will be setting that up down there that tank will be going uh, my fire belly newts will be going into um, a tank at my mother's giant like it's 75 or 80 gallons I got that from someone too but uh, I think these are 18 by 18 by 18 cubes um, they work nice for smaller frogs once again maybe two frogs may squeeze away with with three depending on how small the species is but I don't like these guys being in a smaller tank but they do get away good with a smaller viv they seem to not mind it. They travel all the way around it, and I don't know. They just seem really comfy, and I, I'm scared to move them because I don't know how comfortable they'll be with me once I move them to a bigger tank or something. So they breed in there. They do fine. Everyone does fine. Uh, I see a little wrestling, but not much. Not enough to worry about it. Like they jump on each other and they get off. But as far as fans. I don't have any fans in these because I have such big vents up top and with this fan I circulate the room as is so it's tough enough to hold humidity in these with the fans and um, I did recently put in a bulk, a bulkhead system so it'd be a little tougher to hold in humidity after that too so uh, a big mama the bulkhead system is nice. I got that from uh, any herps, the half inch. Um, a giant rack I got from uh, Home Depot. These racks are nice. Uh, up here, I definitely want to do 24 by 24 by 18 exoterras. I could fit three right across, and then I'll get the the 75. Uh, is it 75? It's like 78 or something. 78 inch uh, Evo quad. And uh, I did find it on eBay already, so I want to get that. And um, I went with the smaller one here. I wish I did bigger because at the time I had it on a smaller rack. And uh, now, who knows? Maybe I'll end up doing it anyways and maybe getting rid of this one and maybe I had that tank for so long. I don't know. Alright, uh, tank sizes over here. I got three 29 gallon tanks, Kerberts, that I did by myself. I got the acrylic hinges from Josh's Frogs, and then um, I cut the glass, and I got it from, I got some pieces from a friend, and then I got some from Lowe's, and I cut all the glass. I made these from uh, th these screen kits you can get at uh, Home Depot, and then um, that's how I did the converts. This is like a 32, I think, as you can see back there. I gotta do a little bit of dusting, but uh, it's a little longer. And then I think this is a, a 29 or a 30 tall. It's even longer than them all, but it's like six inches shorter, but it's like six inches longer. So um, yeah, it covers tank size over here. Uh, the bow front, I think is 
it's got to be like 40, 45 gallons. Um, once again, I cut all the glass myself. Um, this was tough to do, curved glass cut and snap the glass and everything. But yeah, I think that about covers everything for you guys. Um, please uh, comment, like my videos, share them. Definitely comment. Give me some more ideas on some videos. Maybe I can uh, post a quick video every now and again if you guys need me to cover something or you have a question about something. Um, I always try to answer all my questions and uh, get back to you guys. But, yeah. Until next time, guys. See you later.